Everyday materials and flea market finds may seem like trash to you, but with a little creativity and out of the box thinking, you can create sculptures and works of art. Artist and cartoonist Gary Hallgren and Dr. Dean Nimmer, Professor Emeritus and the Art Doctor, join us to inspire you today. Gentlemen, nice to have you here. Good to be here. Gary, yeah. you brought um, quite the work of art. We'll get to that in just a second. First, Dr. Dean, tell me about this project and how anyone can do it. Well, in my uh, book, um, Creating Abstract Art, there's a section uh, on you don't necessarily need uh, an art store uh, to have fun and to make art. Uh, and both uh, Gary and I are flea market uh, nutcases, just speaking for us. Uh, I uh, am too, so I'm with you. I'm yeah, on, I'm on yeah, your team. Uh, and part of the fun of it is finding things that uh, either are at this point dysfunctional or uh, have outlived their, their usefulness, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then making something out of it that's fun to do. Uh, and in my case, and I think also with Gary, uh, they're bizarre. Uh, <laughs> Out of the box. Uh, and yeah. it's not necessarily something that has to be functional. It could just serve as art, like what you have here, which yes. I'm sure you could still use the saw, but... Well, yeah, no, these are examples of uh, functional ideas. Uh, this, of course, is an uh, eye saw. Or some would call it a seesaw. <laughs> uh, I, I saw. Can you make a call with that? Well, <laughs> I <yeah>. saw. <laughs> Plus, it, it also when you're using it, it also. It's has like an event. instrument. It 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 is. Very cool. And then just to be, this is a little more antique, uh, because this is an ice saw. Oh, uh, got it. Uh, Look at how cool with the ice cubes all over uh, it. Yeah, uh, keeping these cold is is challenging. Yeah, but, but you know you're very creative, so. Well, yeah. You do a good job. Yeah. Now, so Gary, you brought with you not, I mean, Dean has brought his saws with him today, which are uh, pretty easy to transport. You brought with you this contraption, which is very impressive, I might say. Tell me the story behind this. Well, 15 years ago, I bought a Studebaker dashboard at an all Studebaker swap meet. And I, d I drive Studebakers, I always have. So it's not unusual to, to have Studebaker junk around my garage. And I finally got around to repurposing a whole bunch of auto parts that have been taking up space. I told the guys in the club that I was going to make a, a stewed ball game, and it only took me 15 years to do it. <laughs> only 15 years. The point is you did it. I did it. This is so cool, and it's functional. And it's functional going to the art. art show. It's going to the art show, yeah. which we're going to have on the show tomorrow, Highland Hardware Art Show. Yeah, the first of its kind, the Highland uh, Hardware Store Art Show. Uh, so you go to a hardware store and you among see Among nuts so and bolts. And <laughs> among nuts and bolts. So tune yeah. in tomorrow to, to learn more about that. But this is a skee-ball machine, a uh, skee-ball game, I should say, not sort a machine. Of. Sort, sort of. of. Now the rules are listed there. Kibitzing is allowed. Squabbling is not. Right? Right. You came up with the rules? Of course. <laughs> So can I play? It's my game. Yeah, All right. please. <laughs> uh, I'd be honored if you'd play. All right. So we've got golf and balls here. And, and, and the high points are 20. Okay. Uh, okay. I see. I see there. I've never been good at skee-ball, so we'll see. Or a stewed ball, you said this is called? Stewed ball. Okay. Zero. Zero. Oh, man. Better. Better. <laughs> better. <laughs> they come, look at this, how you designed it. They come right in. Everyone's that was close. Wait, that I gotta was go close. this way. This way. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. was that, that good? That counts, yes. That counts? Oh, man. This is really fun. Look at that. So you're encouraging people to look at things in a new way, even if they're not functioning anymore, and create something out of them. Yeah. Yeah. Also wanted to say a uh, shout out to uh, Mao Ringing Garo, who was going to be here, who did this uh, terrific uh, renovation of a vacuum cleaner. Yes, and I believe uh, we have a photo of that actually, and it's like a mosaic on the vacuum. Yeah, that's bag, literally right? what it is. It's uh, creating a uh, mosaic on a, on a vacuum cleaner. Uh, I don't know if you have the shot of Sean Farley, who's also a uh, terrific artist and uh, did a kind of totem piece out mm -hmm. of found objects. Right, and so these are just ways to inspire you to think outside the box, and there it is. And as you go tag sailing during the fall season, take a look at things in a different way. Yeah, and have fun. And everyone's an artist. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Dean and Gary. And now I think I'll Thank play some more stewed ball. Well, please do. I hope I can get a, a score. Thanks. So